I'm pleased to welcome you to the UCI Energy Invitational here in Adams Motorsports Park. We have 20 race teams out here today who are going to be testing the energy efficiency of their vehicles. 16 high school teams and 4 college teams. This race is a challenge that demands coordination with the design of the car and the performance of the car on the track. In order to succeed, they've got to drive for an hour and come as close to a dollar's worth of energy as they can achieve. The car that goes the farthest under those conditions wins. Right now, we're part of the UCI Energy Invitational. This is our third year and defending lightweight vehicle champ. Uh, we're uh, one heat down and three to go, hoping to make a repeat performance of uh, the last summer. I've been in the program for over a year and it's really advanced my education in high school because it's giving me hands-on experience with what I want to do uh, for my future career. I want to move north and go to school to be a mechanical engineer. We're here today because Ryan O'Bannon, our son, is uh, driving one of the cars. This engineering program has been just tremendous and helping him find his passion for cars and engineering. Carrying over to the rest of his life, he uh, is looking uh, at a mechanical engineering uh, major at uh, UC Berkeley, uh, and will be uh, starting there sure. in the fall. And I'm sure he'll be driving a car there too. The UCI Energy Invitational is a worthwhile project to be involved in because it gives the students a project goal to build a vehicle to. It gives them a target and gives them reasons to design this vehicle, meet the milestones, and get the vehicle to the competition. This project definitely prepares students for their future engineering careers because you have to design, build, test, and meet a product deadline, which is very realistic in the real world. It's imperative that the industry gets involved with uh, college level and even high school level type students to, to work with projects and programs. Technology today is moving so quickly, it's not just in the hands of the corporations or the people with a lot of money. Uh, technology now is really finding its way down into areas of college and, and university level programs and it's really, it's really to the benefit of the, the mentoring program processing of the industry to work with these students who really do have access to advanced technology.